We recently stayed at the Four Seasons Orlando, and today I'm going to be sharing some of our top reasons why this resort was such a great fit for our family. One of our favorite things about this resort was the water features. So there was a family pool that was 7,590 square feet. There were two water slides that were 242 feet long. There was also a lazy river and a splash zone, which was great for the younger kids. There was definitely no shortage of water activities here at the Four Seasons. And I think that's especially important when you're staying in Orlando, you wanna find some different fun ways to beat the heat and cool off. This was perfect. The next thing we really loved was the rooftop restaurant called Kappa. Not only is the food delicious, but you can watch amazing sunsets right from your seat. Alternatively, you can walk out onto the terrace to view them as well. And that's also where you can grab a great view of the fireworks display that goes off over the Magic Kingdom. So this is a really fun place to grab drinks, dinner, dessert, and to also get to see the Magic Kingdom fireworks without actually needing to go over into the Magic Kingdom to view them. Now this is something that my kids really appreciated and two things actually. There were little robes left out on the bed upon our arrival with fairy wings wrapped around them. So they really had a fun time having their own robes that they could wear uh, to and from the pool and they also really had fun dressing up in those fairy wings that they wore around the hotel pretty much the whole time that we were there. The next thing that we really loved were all of the outdoor games and just open spaces for the kids to play. Um, so they had a foosball table, they had a ping pong table, there was cornhole, there was a rock climbing wall, and like I mentioned, there was a lot of green space too where they could just kind of run around and have some freedom to burn off some energy. Another thing that they have that's really fun for the kids is a scavenger hunt. So whenever you get there, the kids are given these little papers and they have clue words on them. And so they have to go to different parts of the resort to get a stamp. And once they get all of the stamps collected, then they're able to use the scavenger hunt to get some free ice cream. One of the highlights for us was certainly the good morning breakfast with Goofy and his pals. Not only did we get to see Goofy, but we got to see his friends like Mickey and Minnie Mouse. We felt like we really got a lot of time to see the characters and experience them. They went around to all the different tables and there were plenty of opportunities for pictures and hugs and dancing. So it was a really, really fun time. And I felt like it had a much less chaotic vibe than whenever you see these characters over in the theme park. So it was just a nice, fun breakfast where the kids got to see and interact with all the characters and it was really great. We highly recommend this experience. I will say that uh, you, it is recommended that you get advanced reservations it was actually all booked up whenever I did try to make reservations. However, if you're staying at the resort, I highly recommend calling because when we did that, they put us on a wait list and we did get in quite quickly. So that's just a little insider tip there that even though it might say online when you try to book that it's sold out, call the resort directly, let them know that you're staying there and that you'd like to try to get in for the character breakfast. I honestly feel like I could go on and on about this resort, but those were the main things that our family really appreciated and enjoyed while we stayed here. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you found it to be helpful, please go ahead and give it a like and hit that subscribe button. We put out new videos every Sunday and we have many more trips that we're so excited to share.